One of the greatest feats of engineering in history stands to the credit of the Federation of Rhodesia and Nyasaland, the Kariba Dam. Man challenged the Zambezi and that mighty river is henceforth tamed, a servant submissive to human will. At one of its most turbulent points, the Zambezi is forever harnessed. The last outlet was being blocked. Through the massive obstruction of the concrete wall now flowed only a trickle of Zambezi water. Even that would cease when the last loads of rock and earth had been tipped over. To inspect progress, divers were used. Below the dam, scarcely more than a brook ran over the riverbed. And even that will dry out as the lake upstream above the dam slowly grows to its planned length of 175 miles the lake will eventually cover an area of 2,000 square miles. Italians, who were the majority of the Europeans working on Kariba, have built a church to give thanks for divine help in the work. They went in procession now to the service of dedication. The ceremony of consecration was performed by the Roman Catholic Archbishop of Salisbury, capital of southern Rhodesia. Well indeed has this mighty work been blessed. Noble in imagination, perfect in execution. The water that eventually flows through will have generated immense power. The Federation will have good cause to be proud of the Kariba Dam. <laughs>